Uh, today, I'm going to show you uh, one very efficient shortcut about finding the derivative of reciprocals. Okay, so we can call it this, the reciprocal rule. Let's say we have to find the derivative of 1 over x. Now, the old way of doing it, let's say we have to find the derivative of 1 over x. So what we usually do is rewrite this such that the x is a numerator. So we need to use the property of exponent. Now the exponent of x is 1. So when you move it up, it's going to turn into negative 1. Okay. Now we can use the power rule to find its derivative. So we say negative 1 times the number 1 in front of that x, which is negative 1 x raised now to negative 2, negative 1 minus 1. And then we express this to positive exponent. So we say negative 1 over, so we're going to move this down over x squared. Okay, So this is the derivative of that 1 over x. Now how about, then I'm going to show you the shortcut in a minute. Okay, How about if we have to find the derivative say of um, 1 over say 1 over x squared okay to find the derivative of 1 over x squared so again we first rewrite this so that our variable x is a numerator so now it's x to the negative 2 now i can make this Four, okay, so that will stay 4 and then move the x squared, now x to the negative 2. Now use the power rule. So we say negative 8x to the negative 3. Or you move this x term back downstairs, that's negative 8 over x cubed. Okay, from here we can see the shortcut that we are going to be using anytime we see reciprocals okay so from from the given up to this point right here so next time you see reciprocals and you get the de derivative of that so what you do first you switch the sign okay so the original sign is positive the derivative is going to be negative this time okay so you switch the sign first and then what you do next is multiply this constant on the numerator 4 okay multiply this 4 by this 2 which is 8 okay that will be your numerator and then this bottom number is going to be that x squared but you have to add 1 to that 2 okay so 3 as easy as that okay let's say you have let's say 5 over x cubed okay so what is the derivative using the shortcut First, we switch the sign, so from positive, our derivative is now negative. And then multiply the 5 and 3, that's 15 over what? x cubed plus 1, so now it's x to the 4th, okay? Very easy. Now let's do another example. Let's say get the derivative of, find d by dx of, negative 6 over x to the fourth right now the derivative of this reciprocal is the positive of what 6 times 4 is 24 over x to the fifth okay so you add 1 to that 4 okay one more what find d by dx of negative say 7 over x to the 8. From negative, our derivative is now positive, and then 7 times 8 is equal to 56 over x to the 9. Okay. Now, let's say we have something like 1 over 2x. What, what's going to happen if it's, 
if it's 2x instead of just x. All right, so this we know is just 1 half times 1 over x, right? Okay, so its derivative is going to be 1 half times whatever pattern we just uh, developed from finding the derivative of 1 over x, which is you switch the sign, okay? Switch the sign and then multiply the exponent times that one. So it's just, just going to be 1 over what? x squared. Okay, so this is negative 1 over 2 x squared. Another example, if we have to find the derivative, for example, of, let's say, 7 over, um, let's say it's a more complicated uh, denominator. Let's say you have 3x plus 5 squared. Okay. So what we can do here to get the derivative, we can still use the shortcut, okay? But you have to use the chain rule here, okay? Because we don't have any more plain x base. We have this 3x plus 5, okay? Instead of, because uh, if it's, for example, it's if it's just like x squared, then we can straightforward use the shortcut, which is you change the sign, Okay, now negative, and then you multiply 7 and 2, that's a 14, over what? The base is x, now raised to 3. Okay, that's the shortcut we've been using. Now, if the base is no longer plain x, we have this 3x plus 5. You can use the same shortcut, but we have to use the chain rule, meaning there's one extra step that you have to do. All right, so just like the shortcut we have here, we change the sign to negative. And then you multiply 7 times 2, that's 14, over that same base, 3x plus 5, now raised to 3, okay? That one extra step means you get the derivative of this base, okay, which is 3, and then you multiply everything by that number 3. All right, so that's the only extra step you need to do. And then multiply this 14 and 3, that's gets 42 over 3x plus 5 to the third power, okay? Now let's do one last example. Let's say we have, say, 3 negative over uh, 4x squared plus 3, say, to the fourth. So the derivative? It's going to be, okay, switch the sign, now positive, and then 3 times 4 is 12, over 4x squared plus 3, now raised to 5, okay, so we add 1 to the 4, multiply this by the derivative of this base, which is 8x, derivative of constant is 0, okay, and there you go, that's the derivative. 16x over 4x squared plus 3 to the fifth. Very easy. All right, so I hope you learned something from this tutorial and thanks for watching. See you again next time.